trouble as Tunubu is discovered being behind Magu's arrest. The ongoing probe of Ibrahim Magu suspended acting chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, is already raising dust in the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, over the fate of Asiwaju Bola Tunubu, former governor of Lagos State and the party national leader. Magu is currently being investigated by a presidential panel led by Justice Ayo Salami over allegations leveled against him by the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Apupaka Malami. Malami, in a memo to President Muhammad Buhari, had recommended Magu sack. He anchored his recommendation on several grounds, ranging from diversion of recovered loot to insubordination and misconduct. One of the allegations against Mago is the miscrepancies in the figure of assets recovered. It was said that why he claimed that the commission had recovered 980 billion worth of assets, what is in the account is less than 100 billion. Shortly after Mago's arrest and detention, some protesters took to the streets of Abuja to demand the arrest of Tinubu over 2 billion vans, believed to be conveyed cash at his residence on the eve of the 2019 general election. In February 2019, viral picture on social media had shown the 2 billion vans being driven into Tunubu's residence as many people looked on outside the compound. In response to the controversy generated by the incident, Tunubu had said the Bullion vans contained money belonging to him and not government. He had said, excuse me, is it my money or government money? I don't work for the government. I am not in an agency of government and let anyone come out to say I have collected contracts from the government of President Muhammad Buhari or the APC in the last five years. They should prove it. I am on my own and I am committed to my party. So even if I have money to spend on my premises, what is your headache? If I don't represent any agency of government and I have money to spend, if I like, I give it to the people free of charge as long as it is not to buy votes. Who are those monitoring my house or bullion vans? They must be mischief makers because they report falsehood. They are liars and idlers. However, a credible source in the presidency told Daily Independence that beyond what was publicly stated in Malami's memo to the president, one major issue against Mago is his perceived selective investigation and refusal to investigate the Bulong Van's allegations, even though President Buhari who has made the war against corruption one of the three cardinal agenda of his administration had given him unfettered access to go all out and probe anyone irrespective of his status in the society. Daily Independent recalled that in 2018, Mago had challenged those questioning Tunubu's source of wealth to write a petition and see if he would not act on it. Mago had said, you know what, if you are really interested, write a petition and see whether I won't act. Go and write a petition and substantiate in the petition and find out if I won't act. It is not for us to listen to people on radio and begin to act. Yes, we have intelligence, but the socialist way to get action is to go and write a petition and substantiate the content of the petition and see whether I will not act. However, despite several petitions on the need to investigate the content of the bullion vans, Mago failed to act for unknown reasons. When he was queried by journalists in, in um, November 2019 about the petition, he responded swiftly, 
Do you want me to start discussing Tunubu's petition here? No, I can't. I can't. Speaking with our correspondent, our source said do two petitions we are written against Tunubu on the Bullion Vans. Mago was instructed to go ahead to do that with his investigation and he set up two teams to probe the two petitions. He said he was instructed to go ahead with the two petitions and he actually set up two teams to investigate it. The outcome of the investigations is what he has failed to reveal. I want to believe with Magu's exit, the new EFCC chairman will continue from where he stopped and I won't be surprised if the Pulum Vans petition are revisited. Nigerians want to know and the administration want to prove a point that it is not selective in its anti-craft war. When contacted, a close associate of Tinubu said they had believed that the protest in Abuja on the Bulon Vans was sponsored by some individuals to embarrass Tinubu. He, however, said they didn't know those behind it. When asked if Tunubu would not be affected in any way, he said Tunubu had nothing to do with Mago appointment and would not be affected even if it was removed. It has nothing to do with Asiwachu and it will not affect him in any way. In the first place, he was not the one who appointed Mago and he never recommended him for the position. So if those who appointed him say it is time for him to go, what is Asiwachu business? With that. On the Bulon Vance allegation, he said Asiwaju has stated his position that he is no longer in government and he has not received any contract from the government in the last five years. So that settles the issue. Gaba Shewu, senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, on Tuesday said he had not been briefed on who succeed Ibrahim Mago, suspended acting chairman of EFCC. There has been no official statement for the presidency since Monday when Mago was arrested and brought before a presidential panel headed by Justice Ayo Salami in Abuja. There has been confusion and anxiety in the commission's headquarters over who takes over as acting chairman. The anxiety stems from the fact that Mago's suspension has not been officially communicated to the head of operation, Mohamed Umar, who, according to the EFCC Act, is the next in command to act, to act as a chairman and act in his absence. Also, there appears a just link between Umar and the commission's secretary, Olani Mekun Olukayode, over who replaces the suspended acting chairman. When acted or contacted by Daily Independent, She Usani said he had no knowledge of the development as he had not been briefed. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, um, definitely Tunubu will deny it. He will definitely deny it. So I'm not surprised that this is happening. I'm not surprised that this is happening. This is um, Bola Ahmed Tunubu for you. He, he, he knows how to defend himself, especially when it comes to this. Is it only when when he collects contracts from the government that you is able to raise or sell or or embezzle or siphon from the from the government? What about those um, uh, illegal departments that he has that 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 that, that is controlling? What about the, those departments? Hmm? What are we to say about those departments? Is he not the one in charge of them? Are they not bringing money for him? Hmm. Tunubu, I'm telling you, Nigerians must be very, very careful with Tunubu. Very, very careful with Tunubu because I know him 
that is a smart politician and he know politician and he knows what he's doing. I guess he really know what he's doing. So one thing is for sure the new acting, the new uh, EFCC chairman must continue from where Mago has stopped and make sure that the uh, Tunubu and uh, Bulon Van issue is is probed and where he got that the money for that must be must be cutting must, must be must be gotten out and why the reason for his getting of that belong van must be detected understand so uh, my viewers i don't know what your comment concerning this news may be but please don't forget to leave them behind click on the subscription buttons as well as web buttons to receive more updates